Robert Knapper. Robert Knapper was born on the 26th of February 1966 in Erith, southeast London, and brought up in nearby Plumstead. He had quite a troubled upbringing and had witnessed his father Brian beating his mother Pauline on a regular basis, before their divorce, when Robert was nine years old. Along with his two brothers and sister, Napa was put into foster care and underwent psychiatric treatment. When he was aged 13 he was sexually assaulted by a family friend on a camping holiday. His mother said it was after this that his personality changed and he became introverted, obsessively tidy and reclusive. August 1986, Robert Napper was stopped and arrested for possession of a loaded air weapon in a public place, and given 12-month conditional discharge. August 1989, Napper was charged with rape, this is dropped during trial in October 1995. November 1989, Napper's mother tells police that Napper confessed to a rape at Plumstead Common. Nothing is done. March 1992, Napper charged with attempted rape, Napper pleads guilty at the Old Bailey in October 1995. And an attempted rape of a third victim a week later. Napper admits the offence at the Old Bailey in October 1995. May 1992, a fourth rape. Napper pleads guilty at the Old Bailey in October 1995. Wednesday 15 July 1992, 23-year-old Rachel Nicholl was attacked as she walked with her two-year-old son and the family dog, on Wimbledon Common in south-west London. A passerby found her son Alex, clinging to his dead mother's blood-soaked body, repeating the words, wake up, mummy. Her throat was slit and she had been stabbed, and sexually assaulted. Her jeans and pants had been pulled down to just above her ankles to expose her buttocks. A pathologist later said that it appeared something, such as a finger or round object had been inserted into her anus. Her left bra cup had been moved downwards to expose the left nipple and there were knife cuts to the t-shirt and bra. A total of 49 stab wounds were found, mostly to the front and rear of the upper body, with severe stab wounds to the front and side of her neck. Her heart and left lung had been stabbed while she was alive while the right lung and liver were penetrated after death. The 3rd of November 1993, Napa spied on Miss Samantha Bissett as she made love with her boyfriend before sneaking into her basement flat in Heathfield Terrace, Plumstead, through the open balcony door. Samantha struggled for life as she was stabbed to death in the hallway. One knife wound severed her spinal cord. Napa suffocated and then sexually assaulted her four-year-old daughter in her cabin bed surrounded by children's toys. He then set about mutilating Samantha's body in the living room after covering her head and face with clothing. He cut open her body from the top of her chest to the genitals area. He peeled her skin back and in some areas, in particular the pubic and lower abdomen area, removed some of the flesh altogether. He pulled away her ribs, causing splitting of the tissue and once the internal organs were exposed he stabbed them several times. He also cut open the top of her right thigh and attempted to cut off her lower leg at the knee. He eventually left the flat, taking with him a piece of Samantha abdomen, presumably as a trophy, he left Samantha's body posed on a cushion, in a position he had seen her making love to her boyfriend. It was the boyfriend, Conrad Ellum, who discovered his girlfriend's body the next morning when he let himself into the flat. Plumstead High Street resident Robert Knapper was arrested a year later and charged with the Bissett murders. He was sent to Broadmoor High Security Psychiatric Facility. Described as a loner, Knapper was also found to have raped and battered an Eltham woman in May 1992 and was a serial peeping Tom. Such was the brutality of Knapper's attack the police photographer who recorded the scene was off sick for two years and Samantha Bissett's mother died shortly afterwards of a heart attack. 1994, Colin Stagg from southwest London, went on trial for the murder of Rachel Nicholl, but the case was thrown out after evidence from an undercover policewoman was ruled inadmissible. Mr Stagg spent 13 months in custody. In 2008, he was awarded £706,000 compensation from the Home Office. Napa had originally been on the list of suspects for Miss Nicholl's murder, but this was not followed up as Colin Stagg had been arrested. 
October 1995, Robert Knapper admits the two manslaughters, a rape and two attempted rapes at the Old Bailey. Another rape charge is dropped. 2004, new DNA techniques become available, particles taken from the scene of Rachel's murder are now analyzed, and the link to Napa is made. November 2007, after a cold case review, Robert Napa was charged with the murder of Rachel Nichol. Thursday 24 January 2008, Napa appeared at the Old Bailey in London, charged with the murder, he initially pleased not guilty. Thursday 18 December 2008, Robert Napa pleaded guilty to the manslaughter of Rachel Nikhil on the grounds of diminished responsibility, at the Old Bailey in London. He will continue to be held in Broadmoor, indefinitely. Police have since apologised to Colin Stagg. Police also suspected that Robert Napa may have committed most, or all of the attacks attributed to the Green Chain Rapist, named after the Green Chain Walk, a string of leafy pathways linking large parts of southeast London, who carried out at least 70 brutal attacks across southeast London between 1990 and 1994. Thank you for watching. Murder UK is a website dedicated to giving the facts about murders and serial killers within the UK. Please consider subscribing and press that bell icon to be notified when we update new videos. Thank you.